one concern that, that uh, sometimes people have is the time commitment that they'll say, you know, Jason, you're really going to, you know, you're, you're going to make the salespeople be out of the field for, you know, three calls a month and all these seminars and, and do all these videos and training and, you know, aren't, aren't they, don't they need to be out there selling and, and how would you respond to the time commitment? So you're, you're going to have a huge return on your investment for the time. I mean, that, that's just obvious as a statement, right? From me to say it, but, but how, right? How are you going to see this return? Um, you've got to deliver on it. Um, I, I don't want to say that the time that you invest is very minimal, but it is, especially if you're going to step in and learn it for yourself. As a leader, it, 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 it was a lot of work for me up front, uh, but I was doing the sales word training, I was doing the sales leadership training, and we're doing the executive playbooks, the beginning of that back then. So, and I was at the time the division president and the sales manager and the closing coordinator. So uh, I, I didn't sleep, you know? So for me to say, oh yeah, the, the time, for me in that time, it was a lot, it, it was a lot. Um, but when you've, when you've done two weeks of it, um, you recognize that this is the answer to get to the point where it's going to take less time. It is an investment, but it will pay off as long as you're holding people accountable and you're attracting and, and encouraging the right people on your team to learn it and grow with it. Uh, it, it will pay off. For that. I don't, I'd have a hard time sitting down with someone and saying that uh, I didn't have it harder than they did. If I pull up my balance sheet and if I pull up my income statement and six months of history, and say, this is where I started, this was my org chart, this is what I was doing, and what do you have here? I would have a hard time, I think, finding someone else that, that wouldn't be even lower than I was when I started. Uh, and it, it's worth it. I mean, it. It could be a lot for you. In my case, it was because of all the hats I had to wear and what I had going on, but, but it paid off. I mean, the doing just chunking it down bit by bit pays off. It actually got to the point where two months in, I asked my trainer, hey, can you unlock the rest of the sales leadership? I need to know what's coming up ahead of time for the rest of the year so I can get ahead. And I, and I spent probably three days of just like a fast of FPG, just give me everything one by one, put it in a binder, figure it out, see how it all ties together because I'm, I'm training my team now. And uh, that, was, that was intense. That was definitely worth it. But um, uh, it, it's very minor today looking at it with an org chart that's healthy. <laughs> Uh, the amount of time that, that you have to invest, that your team has to invest, specifically your salespeople get to invest, is going to pay off in the end because they're able to take the maybe 10 hours it takes them to get a sale of meeting the customer, have them come, leave, come back, leave, come back, and then finally close them, and then have a bunch of issues pop up during construction because they didn't answer all 13 relevant decisions. And uh, God, I'd say like one in three, easy, one in three ratio. By the time they learn the FPG process, um, they're going to save two thirds of their time. They're, they're going to be making the sales and having at least two thirds of their time will be gone. It, it'll only take one third to get the sale and maintain it. So it's definitely worth it. That's awesome.